Guess what? I didn't grow up Lutheran. I grew up in the Assemblies of God church. Sometimes you'll hear people talk about the AG, that's the Assemblies of God. And that's what I grew up. It's a Pentecostal type of church body. And I didn't become Lutheran until after college in my early 20s. And even though I'd read the Bible a lot, there were a lot of passages that either I kind of skimmed over not realizing or that I had heard but didn't have the ability to put the dots together to understand what they meant. And one of those topics that I read about but never put together properly was baptism. And one thing that really weighs on me is when we, now I can say we because I'm part of us as Lutheran Christians, we talk to non-Lutheran Christians, there's something that they hear that you might not realize. When we use the words from 1 Peter chapter 3, baptism now saves you, and when we talk about Mark 16, 16, about being baptized to be saved, people will often hear that, non-Lutheran Christians will hear that as you have to do some sort of work and they'll say, whoa, whoa, we are saved by grace through faith. You'll say, yes, exactly. We are saved by the grace of God that Jesus died on the cross, rose again to forgive the sins. But how do you know that that applies to you? Huh? How do you know that what happened all the way over there whatever direction that is, was actually applying to you right here, right now. Huh? I mean, Jesus died 2,000 years ago on the cross. Well, by the word and by faith. Well, yes, but then what do you do to fill in the gap of baptism? Do you fill it in with works? Do you fill it in with, with how you feel? But we want to make sure that we don't remove Jesus from the language of baptism. Jesus saves you. How does he save you? By washing you of your sins and giving you the Holy Spirit to have faith that that is what happened there. That it wasn't the outward sign of the inward change, that you didn't do something for Jesus to show how dedicated you were, but that God actually washed you. That, that it is God's work. Isn't that beautiful? So when, when you talk to someone who is not a Lutheran Christian, and you start talking about the beauty of baptism, just know that they might hear you starting to talk as though it is a work that you have to do to be saved. And to be able to emphasize, no, this is God's work for you. This is God's work to save you through Jesus. This is where Jesus applies to you through water and the word what happened all those centuries ago across the world. When he died and rose again, he applies what he won for you there in the waters of baptism. And we give praise to God, and we live out that faith in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, knowing that he has given us all of the riches of heaven. So go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.